Japanese scientists say radioactive substances from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant may have spread around the globe in about 40 days. A research team from Fukushima University measured the concentration of airborne radioactive substances in Fukushima City. They took daily readings from May of last year, about two months after the disaster. The scientists say the measurements rose and fell in 40-day cycles, but they say the overall density declined by around 85 percent by March this year. Fukushima University professor and research leader Akira Watanabe says the results of the study can be applied to any other country or region. Engineers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant say they'll remove unused fuel rods from a storage pool and check them for damage. The procedure is dry run for removal of more than 1,500 fuel rods that could pose a threat if there's another earthquake. The engineers plan to remove two unused fuel rods from the pool at the number 4 reactor in July. If they're successful, they'll remove the rest of the fuel next year. The reactor did not go into meltdown after the tsunami because it was offline. But areas near the storage pool were damaged when hydrogen from another reactor got into the building and exploded. Engineers suspect the explosion weakened the pool. They're reinforcing the pool to keep it intact until they removed the fuel. The Japanese government is admitting some fault around last year's nuclear disaster. Industry Minister Yukio Edano has said the government failed to provide sufficient information to the public after the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. He was the government spokesperson at the time. I regret the government did not have sufficient information. I also regret a wide gap existed between what I had intended to convey and how the public, especially those affected by the radiation, interpreted my statements. Edano made a statement to a diet-appointed panel on Sunday. He said no one expected that people would have to be evacuated for such a long time. He added he deeply regrets the hardship this caused. He also said he is greatly ashamed that his instructions to government and Tokyo Electric Power Company officials to submit all relevant information was not thoroughly carried out. Edano said he advised former Prime Minister Naoto Kan not to visit the Fukushima plant soon after the accident, but agreed that Kan could do so if he was aware of the po potential political risks in what might be seen as interfering. The panel is scheduled to hear from Khan on Monday. Japan's former prime minister is defending how he led his country through one of the most challenging times in history. Naoto Khan was in charge on March 11, 2011, when an earthquake shook the nation, triggered devastating tsunami, and sparked meltdowns at Fukushima Daiichi. He gave his side of the story when he testified before a government panel investigating the accident at the nuclear plant.国策として続けられてきた原発によって引き起こされたものであり最大の責任は国にあるこの事故が発生した時の国の責任者でありました私としてこの事故を止められなかったことそのことについて改めて心からお詫びを申し上げたいと思います Khan also added the government didn't receive enough information about the accident from Japan's nuclear safety agency and other sources. He said he feared the situation could get out of control. The day after the accident, Khan flew to Fukushima Daiichi. 話をすることによって状況が把握できるのではないかとそう考えましてその地震津波の視察と合わせて the former prime minister explained he wanted to know why emergency venting was not being carried out despite rising pressure in the container vessel. Uh, Khan says the TEPCO officials responded that he didn't know. In 
崩壊しかねなかった。今回の事故を体験して、最も安全な原発は、原発に依存しないこと、つまり脱原発の実現だと確信をいたしました。The members of the government panel investigating the Fukushima Daiichi accident will finalize their report next month and submit it to the speakers of both houses of the Diet. Japanese police have arrested a former meat shop manager on suspicion of falsely labeling beef from Fukushima Prefecture. Police say Hiroshi Kutsukake admitted to selling the meat at a shop in Osaka. Western Japan in February. He reportedly said he didn't think people would buy Fukushima beef. Last month, the Agriculture Ministry ordered the shop's operator to label its products correctly after it was found to have falsified the origin of 1.4 tons of beef. The Japanese government and four regional power companies say they will announce by mid June contingency plans on power supply this summer. That's in case rationing of electricity is needed. Currently, all nuclear reactors in the country are offline. The government predicts a shortage of power in western Japan, that is Kyushu, Shikoku, and Kansai, and also in the northernmost area of the country, Hokkaido. It says if a blackout is unavoidable, it should be limited to a couple of hours a day per district. Power firms plan to take appropriate measures to comply with this guideline. Policymaker also plan to exclude certain facilities from rolling blackouts. They'll include train operators, hospitals, and fire departments. And the government says it aims to avoid having to ration electricity as much as possible. It says it'll send people email alerts asking them to turn off their appliances when power shortages become acute. <laughs> I just think funny things. <laughs> oh, and his momentum carries him into the muck. Vinny, Vidi, Vici, I came, I saw, I lost. Right, you are, Ken. Oh yeah. And next up, Ole Soft Bombs. He's a team handballer from the Twin Cities. They have special insulated sacks to keep their balls from freezing. Oh! And he sacks himself into the grinder. Let's take another look at that. Right here, you can see the brain scrambler victim claim another victim. Right, you are, Ken. He won't be smacking his balls against the wall anytime soon.